everybody, Scout here again, TGIF. It's going to be a nice weekend. Uh, we had a lot of rain last night. Thank God it wasn't snow or I'd be shoveling all day. Okay, uh, let's get to it. It's going to be a good one today. I hope you enjoy. Here's a little 9-incher we want to try out. Again, it's bent here, which it seems a lot of them are. You can see that indentation in there. We'll fix that. That side seems pretty straight. Banged up on top here. Somebody was banging it there. Uh, the handle, although the forge marks don't look too bad, but you see that big line running down the middle. Well, let's see what we can do with this one. Uh, custom job number two. Okay, now we're going to talk about another way to do jeweling on this smaller wrench. And you can see here, this company, they make these rods. They make all different sizes, shapes, and grits of this. This is called Kratex rod. And basically, it is a uh, silicone carbide impregnated uh, rubberish. You can see it's uh, flexible. And this will supposedly give us the same swirls that we're looking for. Comes in different colors, green being coarse, brown, this color being medium. They also have fine. They have like four different uh, grades. But um, the problem I see with this is you see how flexible it is. If we try and check that up on the drill press, you know what happens. This is going to start swirling around. So I'm going to try and make a holder for this. And that's where we're going to go to the lathe. Okay, now I don't have a lot of experience with Kratex uh, using it in this form, but uh, I do know that uh, this isn't cheap. I mean, it's $8 for this uh, one rod of uh, Kratex, and that's quarter inch. It goes up more the thicker it is. So that's why I made this little tool. And what this tool will do is, um, first of all, you take, I made these little spacers. It goes on the screw here. Turn down the head of the screw so it's smaller than the spacers, as you can see. That screws into one end, threaded one end here. That screws into one end. Then what you do is when this is nice and tight, you look in here, this little piece of uh, Kratex will fit in here as a press fit. So you just squeeze it in till it can't go anymore. And that's it. Now when this wears down to about here, instead of throwing away the whole piece, you pull out one of these spacers, move it back down and you're back to this again. And uh, you can, with a longer screw, you can work it all the way till it's almost a half an inch and then you have to toss it. But Let's give this a try. We'll chuck this up. Should give it a little bit more stability than just being a, the stick alone. And we'll try it in the drill. Okay, let's talk about patterns. Look at that, huh? Okay, first pattern. When you're going to go across, you want to get that first line nice and straight across. So when you make your first swirl, your second swirl is going to overlap the first one. And your third one is going to overlap that. And your fourth one is going to overlap that and so on. Now when you go down to the second row, you're not going to start on the same underneath the first one you're going to go between the two you know there's a little uh, point here that's formed and you're going to hit that one and overlap those and do, then do that the same thing going all the way across and then on your next one you're going to go back and uh, start where the first row was so it's kind of it's overlapping and um, that's what gives you the effect now when you get to the edge here on all the edges this way you got to be very careful because the edge of the metal will screw up your Whatever you're using, whether it's Velcro or this uh, Kratex or whatever you're using, the edges are day. So be very gentle around the edges, but that's the pattern. Now you know my favorite part. Remember what the wrench looked like before we started. Okay, we are calling this wrench done, and uh, look at this, huh? For any of you Dodge fans out there, you remember in the uh, 60s, a color called Plum Crazy? 
Well, this is metallic flake candy apple plum with the jeweling. And uh, again, why do we call this one Double Take Junior? Well, BAM! <laughs> Sorry about that. I guess you were expecting that coming. Orange. Candy orange. Spec. This is almost like copper tone, like my bicycle was. Remember that bicycle? Oh, yeah. And again, with the... Uh... Now, again, this pattern is a smaller one than the other one you could see, but... Then we have the uh, senior and the junior. And you can see here how we did the hole with the, uh, and took the bevel, the, the chamfering, and left that silver, but came out really nice. And this is a smaller version of the other one. And let's put it So here we are, the two Velchecks. Uh, this is the, the left side, and the he is the other side of the wrench. So what color is your favorite after all or these? maybe even one of these. I think I did do, I don't know if you noticed or not, but I reprofiled the bottom of this jaw here because I never liked this uh, this outstanding bottom jaw and I made it a little bit more streamlined, you could see, and uh, I like the look a little bit better. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this restoration of these two wrenches and especially uh, Double Take Junior. Thanks very much for tuning in. Hope you have a nice weekend. Take care. Bye-bye.